Okay, so what are we gonna do with this mess? Hey, we could do, um, we could do one of these. We could do a sideshow bob thing right here. This, this is, this is attractive right there. That's, yeah, that's what we do here. We, uh, we all wave at you at the same time. Yeah, definitely sideshow bob right there. That's a sideshow bob thing. And sideshow bob. What does this do? What is that? Saying mute? No, that's no. We don't need to do that. Okay. So maybe I should just put it all like back here. Hi, Quilty Crocheter. Hello, hello. How are you this morning? <clears throat> I am trying to get this mess taken care of. Let's see here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's do this. Okay. I got that all out of the way. Oh, there's five of us in here. Cool, cool, cool. Where's my, there you are, wait. There's the, oh yeah. Hi, Melissa, you doing laundry? Oh, I am too, that reminds me, I gotta reboot the laundry. Yeah, and I've got a dog here. He's, he's laying on the pillows on the floor here. Yeah, he's busy. He's a busy boy. Let's see, I wanna put this up here, right? Right. That's probably better. And you guys are over here. Joe would say, that's a mighty big finger you got there. <laughs> so yeah, I'm home. I'm home, we're home. And I've got yarn to show off. And uh, hello, Nightingale. Yeah, he's, he's in a big meeting. He is. He's busy, busy boy. <laughs> she would, yes. Yeah. So, uh, what am I doing this morning? So I fed the horses. Looks like um, Krista's live is over. So I think we're okay there. Um, I fed the horses, started the Fiona, the big truck. And um, I put, I grabbed some uh, freezer burnt um, pork chops out of the freezer. And I kind of, I was doing a little video of me throwing them in the Instant Pot. See, I bought an Instant Pot. But it's a six quart. And I thought that was the smallest one available when I went to um, Walmart uh, last month to buy it. Well, then I got to look it online and there's a three quart. Well, that's way more my size for the truck. So I have this instant pot that I bought that, you know, I used once. And so this morning, hi, Denisha. So this morning, I, I I started videoing me. I grabbed some, you know, freezer burnt package of uh, pork chops out of the freezer, and um, I videoed me, you know, pretty much cooking, throwing those in the instant pot, and I'm gonna put it up on Craigslist later. I'm gonna sell it for about fifty bucks. It was like seventy, brand new. So. Um, yeah, so use twice, instant pot, six quart duo. Um, I'm gonna get rid of that, and then I have that little refrigerator out in the. Uh, you've got a yeah, it's too big, and uh, I mean they're big anyway. The, I mean the three quart is pretty large, you know, and I'm carrying it on my um, big truck, my international, so. Uh, yeah, it's just too big. And you know who the Instant Pot expert is? Um, one of them is Sharon from Sharon's Crochet Corner up in Nova Scotia. Uh, I've, I've talked to her before on one of her Zooms. Hi, Michelle. Hello, Diane. Hi. You know, it's kind of early on a Friday morning. I mean... I don't think Krista is live right now. I it looks like she had some trouble and um because I went to check on it and I hit it and it looks like it was a replay already. So 
I think she's done. I don't think I'm walking all over hers. If I am, I'm sorry, Krista. Um, it's just, you know, some of us, it's, you know, I don't really get on her lives very often because it's kind of overwhelming, you know? So, yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't figure Krista would even notice. I'm I'm not even a fly on her arm, you know. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, good. Yeah. Uh, Teresa's here. Good morning, Teresa. What'd you say? Uh, good morning, did She's done. Okay, good. Instant pot. Yes, it, it is great. And and the video that I show that I'm gonna put on Craigslist showing me using it. I mean, basically I don't know what I'm doing. And for those of you who know Instant Pot, um, so this is what I did. I grabbed this freezer burnt um, um, pork chops, you know, in a big freezer bag. Um, I threw them in there. I didn't even, you know, thaw them out to saute them. Threw them in there with about three cups of water and two packs of, uh, you know, in uh, onion soup mix. And I pressure cooked them for 10 minutes. And I'm letting them natural release. Now, was 10 minutes long enough? Hi, Lisa. Hello, Cynthia's here. So for those of you who are instant pot, you know, veterans, is 10 minutes long enough for that package of frozen pork chops? Bone in, they're about that thick. You know, they're about an inch thick. I want an instant pot so much. Because I, yeah, and you know what? It's, hi, Cindy. Yeah, um, you know, and, and the reason why I did that video and said, look, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm throwing these in there for 10, 10 minutes, and you will see, you know, how someone who doesn't know what they're doing, how easy it is to use this thing. So, yeah. So that's why um, you know, I figured that would help sell it since I only have a couple days that I'm home, you know. So anyway, any of you know, is 10 minutes long enough for some frozen little stack of um, pork chops that I threw in there? I, us rookies want to know. Instant pot rookie is what I am. Kind of, um, yeah, not very bright when it comes, excuse me, no clue. Okay, all right, <laughs> I'll ask it again later. Maybe maybe more people will get in here. So um, I got my, well, hi, Carol. I got my um, order, my order came from Wool Warehouse because some of us are gonna, when, 20 minutes and make sure you add water or broth to the pot. 20 minutes, really? Ah, dang it. I may have to do it for another 10. Uh, how much is an instant, well, a crock pot? You could, you know, you can use a crock pot. An instant pot is just faster. It's pressure cook and it's kind of, it's idiot proof. Hi, Sarah Mae. Um, an instant pot, I think I paid about $70 for this six quart um, at Walmart and I'm selling it. I'm gonna put it on uh, Craigslist later today for 50 bucks because I've used it. This will be the second time. So let's see what I've got here. I've got all this pretty, pretty cro um, cotton blend yarn. It's sheepies, uh, soft fun yarn. And um, here's the other colors. So some of us are gonna do, um, we're gonna do, uh, hi Diane. Yes, uh, so some of us are planning on doing the Phoenix. We're not gonna do it like, um, oh my goodness, that's crazy. So I'm gonna do, the um, Phoenix blanket when I'm done with um, the my Ellie blanket. So and I and I only bought eight colors. I I needed to buy nine. So I have placed. So, yeah. So I have placed an order for the um, you know the color that I'm missing. Let's see if I can get all these in screen here. Okay. So there's. <laughs> I 
Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Okay, so these are the colors I have. Right now, there's eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Let's see. And this one. Okay, so the colors I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, the colors I have for um, the uh, Phoenix blanket at Hooked on Sunshine. Dot C O dot U K something like that. It's um, it's from the UK, and so and then I ordered a light pink um, because I missed it. Hi, Edith. Hello, Edith. And um, there we go. So anyway, those are all the colors that I that I bought from Wool Warehouse, and and so. You've been making my pot holders, yay! So here's here's what I did. Um, I had never ordered from Wool Warehouse before. Okay, so Wool Warehouse is UK based. Good morning, Sandy. And I didn't hit, you know, the currency button, you know, option up at the top. And I ordered it in, you know, British pounds. And I fat fingered it when I was trying to enter my credit card and it didn't go through. So I emailed them. I said, look, I, I messed up. I did this completely wrong. And they said, no problem. Let us just send you a PayPal invoice. So I sent, they sent me a PayPal invoice. I paid it. It was, you know, converted to their currency. And it, they were great. They were absolutely great. Hi, Dinah. Is it Dinah or Dina? Like Dina, like Dino, sorry. And there's Kelly. I, I, I'm thinking Dinah. Joe, fat finger at him. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and they, they fixed it. So then, I say, okay. So then, um, when I went to place the order yesterday to get that last color for my Phoenix, um, I remembered to take my mighty big finger and hit the, the US dollar button and I had no problem ordering. And pretty fast for coming from the UK. So I'm very um, happy and I'm very comfortable now ordering from Wool Warehouse for those of you over here on the American continent um, who have never ordered from Wool Warehouse. Those people were wonderful and helped me when I screwed up. I mean, I've ordered from websites before when I've messed up and fat fingered my credit card or whatever, and they, it, you couldn't get a hold of them. You know, there's a glitch in the system. My dad used to say, got a fart caught in there sideways. <sighs> oh, okay, so Cindy, um, the problem is shipping. Um, do you want to, I mean, the shipping is going to be, it will bring the price of it up over, it's so heavy and big, it will bring the price of it up over what you would pay at Walmart. So Cindy, I'll get back to you. Let, let's, we'll talk about that. Okay. Um, yeah, if I had to ship that, um, that instant pot it would be um because otherwise you know i just i'd send it then i would have offered you know to sell it and ship it i've done a lot of selling online and honestly i haven't checked it but i'm pretty sure shipping would be um shipping would be just outrageous because it is a heavy heavy bugger let me look at the box and see um how much that thing weighs and it's a pretty big box let's see okay okay instant pot so what's the weight on? let's see if it shows a weight on this I need my glasses Hi, Buffy. 
Okay, so this thing weighs. Okay, dimensions. 12.6 long, 12.2 2 wide by 13 high. It is 11.7 pounds. This is all, you know, when it's not in sight. So it's, it's a 12 pound shipment. We'll talk. We'll talk about this. Run, run, run. Okay, just, yeah, I, I mean, let me check. I mean, let me, let me check that and see what. We'll talk, we'll talk um, before I, okay. Has the yogurt making button on it. I have made, let me see, does it have a yogurt? Let me see. Yeah, I think it does. Pour dry steam, multigrain. Let's see. Yogurt, yeah, you can do yogurt. Okay, yeah, because I, I think that would be real. I'm sorry, Cindy, I think that would, you could do better. You would do, yeah, okay. I lost the chat. Did we just, did we just, okay, yeah. Yeah, it does have a yogurt making, um, oh, uh, um, wait, you know, we might be able to do this. We might, yeah, we might be able to do this. I want that one is yogurt making. Yeah, yeah, it does. Uh, I never planned on making yogurt, but, um, see if I missed anybody. S -s Julie, Jill, Jill, Jill. Let's see, what did I miss here? Oh, Jill! Head, head, waist, two, two. Oh, I'm sorry, Jill. Uh, I'm glad to see you this morning. I hope I'm not like yelling. It kind of echoes in here. So, uh, you know, you might have. And plus, I, um, I, I have a very loud voice anyway, so I hope I'm not hurting your head. Carol, okay, so what am I going to show you today besides all of this yarny fun goodness? I mean, this is, where's that bag? Okay, yeah, I just love this yarn. Oh my goodness. The sheepies, soft fun. Oh my goodness. Dooley is glad to be home. You want to see? He's... He's laying on the pillows on the on the floor in front of the TV. That's him right there. <laughs> Ignoring me, but I put those pillows down because um the um let me get rid of that. Um you're allergic to wool. This does not have any wool in it. This is let's see. I don't know if you're referring to this yarn or something that was said in chat that I missed. This is cotton and acrylic. This is a cotton blend. Okay, so this is going to be for the Phoenix Blanket from the Hooked on Sunshine website, Carol. Um, nine different colors. I'm doing colorway two. And um, I'm just so thrilled that my yarn came. Let's see if I can do this again. Blah, 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 blah. See, we got this, this, <laughs> this, <sighs> one more. And the creamy color, it's kind of yellowish, but yeah. And then I've got a lighter pink that's like, it's gonna be like in between these two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I'm missing one. I'm missing one. What am I missing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, that's eight. Yeah, there's a ninth color coming. So the Phoenix from the Hooked On Sunshine website. It's a, it's a paid pattern crochet along. Um, I know it looks so vintage. I'm very excited about it, and I'm going to um start that when I finish my art artist my Ellie blanket which I still haven't started on 
Um, do it with you. Oh, yes, Joe, you decided to do it. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Okay, so here's my Ellie blanket, a.k.a. the blanket formerly known as Ardith from the Hooked on Sunshine website. I still haven't. Um, it's starting to square up. And, oh, it's got so much texture. I just love it. I love this yarn, um, this Bernat um, baby, what's it called? I forget. Uh, I love this. A Bernat softy baby cotton. I wish they would do something in, you know, other than baby colors um i wish it had like some maroons so phoenix pattern only take one ball of each of those she uh, no <laughs> no so like i bought a pack of this color i just what i did was i had like one screen up um of you know the pat the i'm doing color the second color choice b or two or whatever and i brought up that list and i looked at those and then i and then i had another um screen with what was available on um, at the wool warehouse for the sheep use soft fun and um you know tried to i just kind of crossed over and like you know it gives you how many yards needed for her color choices i figured it out i think yeah i i think you know like um for 500 yards of her color i needed three skeins of the soft fun because these are La la la. Here we go. These are, um, you know, I converted them from meters. It, these are 140 meters each. So three of these will cover, I hope, I guess, 500 yards of her color, you know, of her version of this color. So, um, yeah, I had to sit and, and I don't know, I think that's fun to sit and figure out which color. Okay, now how much of this do I need? And I don't know. Now that it's here, I want to get started on it, but I'm not going to <laughs> because I'm going to finish the Ellie blanket. I'm going to work on that today. And what else did I get? I got a um, couple of... When are y'all starting? You know what, Teresa, we're not like, you know, starting it all at the same time. You know, a couple of us, two or three of us, you know, we're working on the artist and, and then a couple are working on, um, like Crystal is doing the, um, another, a free pattern. I'm sorry, Melissa, you know, uh, Crystal's doing a free pattern of, Vanessa's from Hygiena uh, from that same website and Julie you know she's doing the artif and and uh, like Marnie's Garden I think there there are some free patterns and there are some paid crochet alongs and then we all said hey let's you know when when we're done doing this project or whatever let's do the Phoenix so I would say within the next month or so we'll probably um you know, I think we'll be working on the Phoenix. So here's a couple, you know, I've got a couple more crochet society boxes upstairs. What is this one? What is this one? Let's see. I wonder what month this was. I love these boxes. Okay, so this is cotton. Let's see what came in. The Art of Pattern. Hi, hi Linda. Um... Google hooked on sunshine and it's it that's her website Vanessa's website so what did I get in this box I'm not even sure what month this was but we got these two colors you can't hardly tell this is like almost like a lavender color and this is a white and it's called Peter Pan uh, baby cotton DK super soft let's see if it's uh what is this a hundred percent this is um whoa that's tiny even with my glasses i can't read that 
4.0, uh, 3.75 to a 4.0 millimeter hook. Same thing for um, needles. 50% cotton, 50% polyester. Oh, that's just, oh, feels like bunny fur. It's so soft. Okay. I'm assuming, yeah. It should say three on that, but I can't tell because it says DK. So anyway, 50 grams each. And of course we got some stuffing here for an amigurumi. What else do we got here? Okay, what is this? This is a keychain that says Crochet Society. This is a stitch up. Uh, it says pin badge. I, I believe that's a stitch marker. There's like a little kitty on there. And what? I'm not sure what these are. These are like clips. Clips. I, I'm not sure what these are for. Joe probably knows because she gets this box. Here's our code, and we got a, um, now this is different this time. We got a, like a, I think it's a bamboo hook, and it is, yeah, it's a bamboo hook, and it is, it says Crochet Society on it, 3.5 millimeter. Thank you, Kelly. Yeah, I, I think I need a magnifying glass. That's what these are for, but um, they didn't help me this time. Tiny, tiny. So, and of course our, you know, UK to US guide, home is where the yarn is, and oh, some beautiful scissors, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, and some, looks like, um, crochet thread right there, gorgeous scissors, oh man, I love what we get in these boxes. Oh good, she's back. Okay, so there's one box. I don't know what month this was. Probably, I don't know. I have no idea. But, uh, I, you know, and I just love Sarah Jane from um, Bella Coco. She's, I probably learned uh, so much from Bella Coco, uh, Mikey at the Crochet Crowd, you know, those kind of people, um, before I really started realizing, oh, I know the scissors are just amazing. Joe's unboxing, yes, Joe does great unboxings. Not like me, I just, oh, look what I got. <laughs> Isn't it pretty? <laughs> now this one must have been like a February kind of um, Valentine's. I love that. I mean, I know she did this on purpose. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Don't forget to share crochet yourself calm. Then that remind us of Teresa Patton. Okay. So color Rosie and color peach. This is 50% cotton and 50% um, acrylic summer from summer's tips and stitches. I like her. Okay, so made in Turkey, Bella Coco Crochet Perfect Cotton DK. Oh, love this. I am really getting into the DK size cotton blends. I, I just, oh, love it. Love it, love it, love it. And this came with, um, like a, love that Velcro, yeah, me too. So this came with like a, a Notions, crochet yourself calm, treat yourself. Okay, and here's the book with the patterns in it. Aren't those pretty, Denny? Okay, so in here, look at this. Okay, there's our code. We have Rose Crocheter's Hand Cream, created for crafty hands. Mm -hmm. And we have, ooh, something, something is going to involve some ribbon. And of course, one of these um, wonderful, this is a 3.75 millimeter crochet society, um, crochet hook. And then lip balm, 
rose lip balm and oh, and of course a stitch marker it's a little heart with a hook in it now that is cute it's got a crochet hook in it or is that a crochet hook I think yes it is ah uh, okay and then the bag I mean this is this is beautiful I just love her stuff oh my goodness yes wonderful I she just I mean Sarah Jane really nailed it with these boxes I think um, yes they cost a little more but somebody did a like who was it somebody did you know they kind of priced out what each of these items are and kind of compared it to so if you had bought all this stuff separately and then um, uh, compared to the cost of this box that you really are getting a good value for what you get I mean you get this wonderful hello HD and oh, I love these cotton blends oh my goodness just wonderful boxes really Sarah Jane puts a lot of thought into these the fabulous Carrie Penny did that yes she did yes she did that's right thank you Teresa and I have a couple more boxes upstairs one of them has like a crochet journal in it I mean I totally love that it is a very good value and what do I pay what do we pay Joe it's like 34 something um, 34 35 bucks a month I mean total you gotta figure shipping over from the UK so yeah who I need to turn up the heat <laughs> Maybe I'll take you guys with me because I need a little more. I need a little coffee heat up. Oh, oh, that. How's that? Monster hand. It's like a horror film coming at you. Okay. So I'll take you guys with me. Something like $38. Yeah, totally though worth it. Totally worth it. Mmm. I think I'm going to restart my crock pot and do it in another 10 minutes. What do you think, Joe? I wish I could afford that. You know what? And and I was adamant that I would never buy one of those subscription boxes where this yarn came that I would never use and it would sit around and I would pay for it every month. Well, I am, um, I changed my mind about the Crochet Society box. I mean, 38 bucks a month, totally worth it. Ooh, it's cold in here. Let's turn this up. I see. How do you do this? I have no idea. Let's bring it up to about 70. Whew, it was at 68. Brrr! Okay, so now I'm going to, I don't know how to do this. I'm gonna take off the keep warm. I'm, I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna pressure. Oh, I can't really do anything. I can do a, um, okay. So I got that done. I'm gonna turn off the keep warm. Oh, nice, Dinah, there you go. Yes. Let's, let's pressure cook this, babe. Let's undo it. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with this thing. Let's turn it on. Hmm. Cancel. That's what I want. Let's pressure cook another 10 minutes. Now, how do I make it start? Because it just like, oh, I need to push that back. Okay. On. Show us the pot! <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do it another 10 minutes. There it is. Anyway, there she is. And all her pretty glory. There's all the paperwork. I even got the box. Yeah. Right. If you get wool, you can't use it. 
Yeah, Joe. Okay, so I did it another 10 minutes. We don't need to, um, I don't need to kill myself <laughs> with those pork chops. <laughs> okay, so let me plug you guys in. And what was I going to show you next? Oh, <laughs> Well, you know what? It gives me content for a live video, Lisa. So thank you for being nosy. Okay, so um, I know I did this before, but I'm going to be mailing out some, um, um, some more Amway sample bags. Um, so who, does anybody want to see what is in them? Uh if anybody wants to see, I can show you, but if, you know, you're bored by something non-crochet, non-yarny, I won't do it. Um, we can just sit here and have it. Yes, yes. Okay, I got two yeses. All right, let's try it. Okay, so what have I got here? <laughs> it's been a couple months since I looked in one. Okay, so for every product that's in here, um, I made a sheet like the dish drops and there, you know, product details, um, want, you know, the information from the website and then use instructions. So everybody who, you know, when you get something like this, you're going to see like, um, like the dish drops. So you get these dish drops. And you're going to go, oh, you know, she gave us like, yes, I did turn up the heat. <laughs> so dish drops, like, look at this. This is, oh, it's got a little, it's kind of leaking out of that. I'm going to have to put it in a different box. So I wrote dish drops on it and I put like a couple drops of it, just like that much in a bottle. Okay. So the instructions say, uh, you know, there's your... So basically, what you're going to do is you're going to add water to this whole thing and use it just, and that's how much you use. So that's the whole thing about, you know, Amway products are so concentrated. So you fill this with water and you can use this for your dishes in your sink for quite a while. So um, there's that. And um, the, these bottles leaked. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm glad I got this out because I got to redo for some reason, one of my bottles didn't, um, oh, and it made a mess. And here is the LOC. Um, and, and this much LOC is going to last you a long time. So there's a sheet here on the LOC. Oh, I got to fix that. I got to go wash my hands off. <laughs> Be right back. Oh, I'm so glad. Because I got to check the other bags now and make sure. Good thing I put it in a in a um, plastic, you know, storage bag. Oh, those pork chops smell so good, oh my goodness. Okay, so there's those two things. Then what else do we got? Okay, so I got my, you know, my brochures, whatever. So, you know, information on the business, you know, product um, catalog. Yes, they do have great products. And it's fun, you know. I decided I'm going to do this for fun. Okay, so what else we got? Um, the hand lotion. Uh, let's see. What is this? See, I wrote on here, um, these are ADT. This is um, automatic dish tablets for your dishwasher. Um, this is AFB, which means all fabric bleach. Okay, email me, Sarah May. It might take me several months to get it to you because I'm on the road and I'm going down the list of people who have already emailed me. So, SA8 which is their signature, like, you know, laundry soap. This much laundry soap will last quite a while because you only use a little tiny scoop. You don't have a dishwasher though. Well, I'm sorry about that, but you'll get, you know, all the other products and give those dish tablets to someone who does. Okay, then what else we got? We got this pack of, um, well, first of all, these are scrub buds. 
These are scrub buds, and this is, you know, kind of like your, your SOS pads, only there's no soap in them, and um, it's like a soft steel wool. There you go, your daughters. Okay, so um, then what do we got? Some caramel candies. <laughs> and then an Amway pen, of course. And then I've got um, LOC, um, oh, just like multi-purpose wipes. And then we got all these, oh my goodness. Um, oh, here, we got um, one of the bars. One of the bars, uh, Neutralite bar, wellness bar. And I included, you know, on the product sheets, um, all the ingredients in case there's anything you're allergic to. Um, you know, people have peanut allergies. And the very first, I mean, there's peanuts, almonds, chicory, fiber, sugar, tapioca, syrup. Okay, so, you know, and some people are off sugar. So, that's why, you know, I included, you know, all the um, information on the wellness bars in one of these sheets, too, because I don't want anybody getting sick or hurt. Uh, some vitamins. Uh, what do we got? Uh, the Perfect Pack. Neutralite per Perfect Packs. And then, okay, so... These are the artistry um, samples. So let's go through these. Because like there are, um, you know, foundation samples. Some are very, very dark. So you have somebody with beautiful caramel complexion. Um, then you, you know, give them those darker colors. And um, like the, okay, this is eye cream. This is uh, Youth Extend Protecting Lotion. So, uh, right, exactly, Diane, but you can give those to somebody else. You know, not everything in here is going to be for, you know, for you. Okay, Advanced Creamy Foam Cleanser, um, Hydra V Refreshing Gel, uh, Advanced Softening Toner. They actually, their, their very first product was the LOC and it was called something else at the time the liquid organic cleanser um, that is their number one product and then later on they um, oh yeah oh yeah artistry and artistry now I'm talking 20 30 years ago when I first was um, an Amway distributor at that time Artistry was the official skincare line for the national figure skating. Yes, SA8 is a big deal. Okay, so National Figure Skating Association or American, whatever. I don't know if that's still true, but I mean, that was the thing. Oh, yeah, the skincare is, is a big deal. Okay, Artistry Youth Extend Lifting Smoothing Foundation. Whoopa, whoopa. And this is um, tawny. The color is tawny. So you'll have to go to the website and, and look at the color palette to see what tawny is. And the website is listed at the bottom of these sheets. Hi, Ginkgo. Is it Ginkgo? Like, 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 like the supplement? Okay, Youth Extend Enriching Lotion. So all of these skincare products, and let's see. Um, so here's a foundation, and here's more skincare, more skincare products. There's more foundation. Let's see here. Um, foundation, more skincare, foundation, <laughs> more skincare. Okay, so. These are, okay, that's eye gel, refreshing eye gel clean, um, cream. But all of these are foundation and different colors. Looks like there's six different shades on the foundation. And the foundation is stamped on the back on the bottom. Like here's a, a golden right there so anyway 
it's a pretty extensive um, sample bag that uh, you know I hope you can get used and what you don't use please give away please give away it is an enormous sample it is enormous so and I even threw in a couple of caramels in there I hope I have more of those I'm going to be um, shipping um, at least three of these out today um, maybe more I'll get it because I also have the giveaway winner and I have the um, beginner crocheter Lynn Daniels uh, her her box those boxes are going out today I love scrub buds I use them on the truck um, to clean my instapot and to clean my um, my little uh, crock pot so all of this stuff goes in there I am so glad I had that this one that leaked leaky leaky with the yellow C and the dish drops in it um, so I can redo that. Oh, I'm so glad you guys wanted to see that because then I'll check the other bags and make sure. <sighs> Yay. Oh, I love the smell of SA8 and all fabric bleach. I love it. I love walking into my um, laundry room, my mom's laundry room, and um, smelling that. I love walking into my bedroom where I have the boxes set up across the um, dresser. Oh. It just smells so clean and reminds me of good times. Who is under a guy in Spokane? Yeah. Well, you're welcome. I, I love it. I just think Amway's fun. To me, it's fun. Um, some people prefer, you know, like more like Avon or Mary Kay or whatever, you know, whatever. Uh, oh, thank you, Diana. Um, you know, whatever. If it makes you kind of giggle and gi gi giddy, you know, that's that's me with Amway stuff. So I just enjoy it. And um, there was a time that I was going to all the big um, business conferences. I've been to San Jose, San Francisco, Denver, um, uh, Portland, all these different big um, you know, like weekend uh, business co uh, conferences. And I got such a business education by going there. Besides the fact that I studied business when I went to college, um, I studied business and horse production. And um, on top of that, I got more of an education going to these um, INA um, conferences, you know, through Amway than I did at school in college. College is all like rote, rote learning, you know. But anyway, um, so I've showed you all uh, most of my junk. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Um, I, I want those bags to be, you know, not like disappointing um, when you get them. So... Yeah, I'll be sending some of those out today. Um, years ago, I attended a bunch of Amway conventions and thinking of, yeah, you know, and, and there's a lot of hype. There's a lot of hype. And uh, good morning, good morning, this trucker's life, everybody. He is on the road. Uh, last video, I think you sent me, you were in um, Georgia, Southern Georgia. Hello, Rosalie. Yeah, so brother trucker. <laughs> Brother Trucker, when are you getting back to Medford? I'm in um, the Oregon City area right now. Home, 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 home. With my dog, with Dooley. <laughs> Did you get my mail? Rosalie sent me the most beautiful Valentine's Day thank you card. Rosalie, I'm sorry, I didn't even mention it, but I did get it, and I was tickled to get it. Thank you so much. Um, Rosalie is so sweet. I mean, if you guys get a chance to meet up with Rosalie, you know, she's willing to drive a couple hours from her place in New York. I mean, I met up with her in Ohio. Do swaps with her. Um, you know, do a collaboration. Uh, Get involved with Yarn It Out and Rosalie. There's, there, speaking of Sweet Dooley, there he is! There he is! 
Yeah, her and I met up in Ohio, Canton, Ohio, and went shopping. Shopping, shopping. Yeah, this trucker's life, he, you know, he shows um, cooking in his truck. Indiana. Okay, Sarah May. so when I was with May Trucking, yes, I went to Indiana. I went, you know, all, you know, I... I went all over, but now I'm with night transportation and I'm having a little trouble getting those, um, those longer runs and I'm, I'm kind of on the fence about that. I want longer runs because I like them and I want to, hi, Nicole, hi girl, addicted to yarn, hi sweetie. <laughs> You know, I, I, I want to go on those longer runs, but they're keeping me like running up and down California. And uh, no, hello, I'm an over the road trucker, but my paychecks are bigger. So, <laughs> I mean, how much can I complain? <laughs> Nicole's here, Joe's here, Rosalie, Sarah May. Oh, uh, Sandy's here. Everybody's here. Got a couple of Diana's here. Um, <laughs> We are just having a good time, Nicole. You miss me showing my Amway samples and all my yarn and my crochet society. Oh, yeah. We're having a good time. Good time. I'm uh, drinking my Atkins. I'm going to drink my Atkins mocha latte. It's got coffee in it. Oh, I forgot to get... I took you guys into the kitchen with me to get more coffee, and I didn't do it. I get so distracted. Whoop, that's my big fat hand. Okay. And I'm cooking in the Instapot. I call it Insta. It's instant. I, I gotta quit calling it that. So it says and I'm gonna hit keep warm. I hit keep warm and I'm gonna let it natural release. I mean if 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 I can cook something in that, anybody can. What do I do with my coffee cup? What did you guys do with my coffee cup? <laughs> I can't find it. Oh my goodness. What did I do with it? It's my papa cup. There it is. See, when I was um, growing up, my dad, um, I called him papa, which isn't, um, that's not real common being from the Northwest or even on the West Coast. I think it's kind of a south, Southeast kind of thing. But that's where he was born and was raised, you know, by my grandmother who, you know, it was just him and her for a while. And, um, you know, he's got some Southern roots. So I called him Papa and I found this cup at a truck stop somewhere. And on the backside, it says Papa, the man, the myth, the le legend, and he's been gone for several years. So I just had to have this cup and, you know, think about my dad. What happened to the chat? Okay. Ooh, I'm missing it. Who else is here? Petra's here. Petra's here. Okay, I'm gonna set you guys right there while I get some coffee. Petra, yeah! So yeah, that's my papa cup. Put a little non-sugar-free, sugar-free creamer in there. It's not really sugar-free when in, the second ingredient is corn syrup. Hello. <laughs> it's like caro syrup. <laughs> so, let's see. Mm. Needs to be heated up a little. Too much sweet. I need to heat that up. Well, the problem is I'm going to try to sell it locally because shipping it would be, would bring the price of it way over. Yeah, I'm selling that six quart because I got a three quart that fits better in my truck. And, you know, I don't need a six quart. So let's, let's put it in there for a minute. So yeah, it's six quarts. It's too big, you know, to be carrying around in my truck. And I found that there was a three quart one, so I got it on Amazon. And um, 
Yeah, I, but I'm going to... I like liquid sweeteners, but they cooled my coffee down. Yeah, I know. That's why I got to nuke my cup. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to... It's been used twice. This morning is the second time, and all I did was throw in a bunch of um, freezer-burnt pork chops. Do you like your new truck? Did you get the international... Har <laughs> My international harvester. I love that song. Yeah, I got my international. Her name is Fiona. The ogre. They sell um, the Instant Pot. They sell a three-quart uh, that uh, fits better in my truck. I love that song. I do love that song. Craig Morgan, right? Yeah. International Harvest. So I named her Fiona because she's an ogre. She's a rough old girl. Hi, Noni Mae. So, yeah. Fiona is her name. I love my new truck. Lots of room, lots of power, and lots of Jake break. She is, um, she is great. So, so yeah, there's there's uh, my pile of stuff that I've been talking to you all about. Crochet Society boxes, the Sheep Yeast yarn, the Instant Pot, the Amway bag, and the Ellie blanket, formerly known as Ardith. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh! I was going to ask about the, yes, the Jake Brake works. It is a wonderful, wonderful truck. I went out there and started her this morning to make, uh, oh, thank you, Rosalie. This is my mom's place. So let's do a little tour. Let's do a little tour. So right here, this little room is, okay, so there's the kitchen. And this is like a little room. I, I think this was meant to be like a little dining room or something so um you know it, it's not <laughs> you know we're we're country folk and we got dogs and there's dog toys you know there's a dog toy box over there um and the coffee table got moved out of the way and the dog's laying on the pillows because that's a napping couch over there okay and then over here I got this for Christmas from my Aunt Martha. She had a friend of hers paint this pony for me, and we just think it's cute as all get out. Just cute, cute, cute. Um, this window faces out, you know, the front yard and the road, and this faces out the, the side yard. TV, there's kind of a corny movie on. Um, and this, I love this. Mom got this, I believe, in, um, um, oh, why, why, uh, Louisville. Yes, he's, so this, um, they went to Louisville one year, my mom and stepdad, and watched the Kentucky Derby. And, um, got this painting. Uh, it's, it's an original paint. It is, it's beautiful. I just... I love that painting. And then um, this is where I'm sitting. This is the mess I'm sitting in. Uh, so back into the kitchen, little bar. You know, it's a, it's a remodeled farmhouse. She's got some cute stuff in here. I love this cupboard. And Ileana is here. I see that. There's the front of the house. This is like... I don't know, is this gonna be a living room? I don't know, it's got the wood stove and the desk and the grandfather clock and the enclosed um, front porch here. That's the front yard. This is the cutest, cutest little house. I love those stools. Okay, so here's a great picture of mom with Lotto. Love that. And mom kind of likes clowns. She's just weird. Okay. So there's, you know, the deck. We spend a lot of time out on the deck. You know, we barbecue a lot. There's my pickup. Um, way out there. Wood stove. Uh, we come in and out this sliding glass door a lot. Love it. There's our coats. 
There's the backyard and the horses are way down there and there's Fiona, my truck, and uh, some artwork of moms, barrel racers. There's the stairs, I live up there. <laughs> And bathroom. This is the cutest little remodeled farmhouse mom's room. So, and then back around to the kitchen. That's the house. <laughs> it is a nice remodel. Yes, being in the country, this is my dream house. Yeah. Yeah, we, um, we don't live in the city. I mean, we are, um, we've got horses and dogs and, um, it, this is, I mean, it's like the, it's a, it's no option. It is. And it's cute. Um, it's just, you know, warm and cozy and it's not very big. It's just right for mom and I, um, oh, there's a, um, there's a laundry room. <laughs> you guys can uh, come in with me while I uh, switch my clothes <laughs> over. How much land do you have? Um, she has basically just under five acres. So it's not a big place. You know, it's, it, it's just right for her and two horses. There's, you know, there's a big garage. There's a shop. She had a... Um, Hi, Sharon. Sharon, yay! Um, she had a barn built this summer that's got um, three stalls in it and a tack room. No new, yeah. Well, there's lots of, you know, the little farms out here are really um, close together. Not like in Colorado. When you, when you bought out of town, there was property. I lived on 35 acres, and that wasn't, you know, huge, but it was nice to, um, have like you know a little horse business going on I had a round pen and a barn and you know quite a bit of pasture uh, to um, you know work with and I boarded horses and trained so you know it's just different you know out here these little farms they're all butted up against each other so it, I don't know why. It's just a, a different mindset when it comes to living out of town. What is that? All oh, these little things need to be thrown away. So yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Looks like I, I uh, there's a penny or something in here. I scored. Oh yeah. There's two pennies in here. <laughs> so my mom is out of town. She's had a little, having a little vacation down. Southern California. Um, she'll be back on Sunday. So yeah, I'm gonna party with you guys. In the meantime, wooden screen back there. Okay, so yeah, she uses that to kind of cover the. Um, it's not really covering right now, but covering you know the the um, furnace and the um, looks like a hot water heater. Yeah. So that's what that's all about. There we go. So anyway, now I've got clothes in the dryer. Let's do it. All right. So, you know, I've shown you guys the house. We'll almost move, but decided we didn't want to cut grass every weekend. Yeah, you, riding lawnmower is a must. The older we get. <sighs> Feels good in here. Oh my goodness. I think the floors are heated. <laughs> Bye, Lisa. So that screen is great. Yeah, it's a nice, I really like this little room. I love having like a mud room, laundry room. It's, it's, I just love that. Yeah, I love a riding one more, me too. <laughs> so yeah, this is the cutest little place. Um, you know what I really like? I like this faucet. It's, it's pretty cool looking. That's fun. I like that. <laughs> and I love this. I love this like soap. 
dispenser, but um, I would want like a little tray underneath it that you, you know, catch the drips. I'm out. You just reminded me I need to finish the laundry. <laughs> okay, so real quick, Dooley, do you got to go poopies? I'll, you know, come out and show you this, and then I'll probably let you guys go. We've been over an hour. Uh, property. Now, I don't know if you guys... Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, I went... Okay. I used to make trails on my fan and let the hay grow tall. Oh, yeah. So, anyway, that's the place. And the horses are out there. I guess Dooley doesn't have to go outside. So... Yeah, the bathroom is pretty nice. This was a nice little find. And a little, you know, here's the thing. This place is expensive. I'm not gonna tell you how much she paid for it, but um, to me, the house prices um, out here are ridiculous. Of course, I'm coming from Idaho <laughs> and where they're still fairly reasonable. They're going up though, because everybody's moving there. Okay, see you later, Kelly. I'm gonna let everybody go too so I can get to crocheting and working on um, Calgon take me to Idaho. Yes, yes! <laughs> I wish you would move to Emmett. Um, but you gotta hurry because prices are going up. But I am going to um, get off of here and get, you know, packages mailed out. I've gotta, you know, get those um, Amway packages. Set it up in your backyard and pay rent. <laughs> All right, but you got to mow the lawn. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to get the Amway samples taken care of. The, um, the prize winner from December, the giveaway winner, all that stuff. Bye, Sharon, Teresa, Dinah. Oh, my goodness. I've had such a good time with you guys today. Joe, Nicole, tiny house in a backyard. <laughs> well, I do have the um, Freightliner back there. That's pretty much a tiny house. Bye, Carol. Bye, everybody. I've, I've just really enjoyed being with you guys today. So I've got lots to do, lots of shipping to do. I have miles to go before I crochet. Isn't that a Robert Frost? <laughs> Bye, Noni Mae, Teresa, Zebra! You're going to have to watch the replay, girl. We missed you. There's lots going on in here. We had such a good time. Okay. So, I, um, I'm i going to go. And we've been on here an hour and seven minutes. Woo! That's a lot of Dana right there. So, um, Dooley. Dooley, baby. What do you think? Are you going to say goodbye to everybody? Yeah? You got to go poop yet? <laughs> We're going to have some pork chops. All right, I'll see you guys. I love you guys. Bye.